Hi everyone, I'm back for a video and this is mm, going to be a ramble, so I apologize. I don't think I can say anything I want to say super eloquently, but you know, my channel has always been about my journey in this hobby and my thoughts and feelings and sharing with people. So that's what I want to do. I wanted to make this video about recasts more recently, but I was really angry and what I filmed was not an accurate representation of what I think and how I'm feeling, and it's not a fair, uh, you know, response. And this is sort of a response to a few other videos I've watched, but um, yeah, just to document how I feel. So recently there was a video from a doll friend of mine who chatted about their feelings, and I think they were very angry, and I think it's not necessarily wrong. The anger, rather, isn't necessarily wrong. You know, I don't necessarily agree with every little thing they were saying, but the general idea I mostly agreed with. And, um, you know, I commented saying, thank you for making the video and blah, blah, blah. Anyway, the video was then removed and then reposted in a kinder way that I think um, maybe more accurately represented their thoughts and feelings. I can't speak for this person, um, but I, again, I understood what they were coming from. Um, and then I've watched some other response videos to that, and I have a lot of feelings, and I guess I just want to share my stance and what I think. And before I get into it, um, I don't want to hurt anyone's feelings, and I don't want to make anyone feel bad. And I just want to chat about the state of the hobby and um, what recasts are doing to the hobby and then talk about the actual people doing the recasting more than people that are supporting that or buying it, I guess. Uh, I'll get into that a little bit as well, I suppose. Anyway, here's my ramble. So I am pro-artist. I think recasts are a detriment to our hobby. Um, saying that, I understand why someone might purchase a recast, um, the ones that are most logical and make most sense to me are, um, I want to do modding and I want to practice doll and I'm worried about ruining a legit doll and then I'll buy legit dolls after. Um, I can't afford XYZ doll, so I'll buy this, um, recast one instead. And then I guess maybe um, this limited edition doll that I love is no longer produced, so I'm going to purchase it from um, this recaster. And um, those are, again, the most legitimate sounding um, reasons in my head why someone could own one. So I just think it's sad that these companies that we really love have spoken out about recasts and people recreating their dolls. Um, and on an emotional level, it's heartbreaking. Um, of course, on a business level, it's a detriment to their business, and it does affect them. Um, on some of these videos, there are people crying out, well, how do you know it affects these businesses? You don't know, you don't know. Well, it does. It does simply because someone's stealing their work and reproducing it and making a profit off of that. Um, so then people that would be perhaps buying these legitimate dolls now aren't, money's going somewhere else. Um, and contrary to what you think, a lot of these companies, well, all of these companies aren't very large. Um, I saw a really interesting Tumblr post a year ago or something about, um, I think it was like Fairyland and maybe Ipple House, but um, just about these companies that we love and how small they really are. Somehow people maybe seem to think that these companies are huge mega corporations, which is bizarre. This is a very niche hobby, and none of the companies that are making dolls for us are that big. Um, I think even Volks, which perhaps may be one of the larger companies, is small. They're not a big company. They do not have that many people working for them. They don't have that many people producing these things. So any kind of um, business taking away from them is a detriment. So anyone recreating their dolls hurts these companies. It does. You can't say it doesn't in any way. Um, I believe Fairyland shut down for a little bit because of it. Let me know if I'm wrong. I've read that around. Um, 
something heartbreaking for me personally, Dream of Doll, I'm like fairly certain they closed because of people recasting their dolls closed forever, and they will not be making their dolls anymore, which is heartbreaking. They are the first company I ever discovered, and it breaks my heart. I had a Dream of Doll, and I sold it, and I wish I kept it, because now they are no longer around. And it makes me so sad. So those are the reasons that I think recasting is a detriment to our hobby. Now, here's the thing. I don't necessarily want to talk with negative people. And I don't want to talk with people that are mean and bully people. And I don't think it's fair for people to cry, you're bullying me, um, when you're sharing your opinion. Um, and it's not nice to shame people's character. Um, I guess I'll say that. This is so hard for me to articulate. I don't want to judge people um, and say that you're a terrible, awful, bad person, because you're not, um, if you own a recast. That's not true. Um, are you doing something that I view as not great? Yes. That doesn't necessarily mean I think you're an awful, terrible person. I don't think this is on the same level in any way, but um, emotionally, in my brain, I know it's sort of like someone who does, who smokes or does drugs. Like, do I think those things are good or those are qualities in people that I like? No. Do I judge people horrendously um, and won't associate with them for doing some of those things. No. Again, that's not really saying the same thing, because I don't think it's on the same level. Um, but maybe emotionally that explains sort of how I feel. I do want to say that I think there is a difference when um, someone is purchasing a recast of um, a small independent artist versus one of these um, larger companies. Um, I think that is just sad and it sucks um, when recasts are created from independent artists. Um, that's heartbreaking. These people put their time and energy into creating these beautiful creations um, and then they're selling them and trying to make a profit. And because they're so small and independent, it hurts them massively. Um, and it's heartbreaking on an emotional level. So, like, you created this thing lovingly from concept to design to physical being, and then someone goes, steals your work, recreates it, and sells it for less. And it warps it, and it um, distorts it. And it's not nice. I don't know. It just it sucks. And that makes me upset um, and feel sad for the companies that are the independent artists that are being stolen from. It sucks. And what I do want to say is I hate these people that are creating these recasts. Again, I know that there are reasons people might buy them, um, but I am so sad that there are people out there um, that are creating these fake dolls. That's what gets me, I think, more than anything else. Um, yeah, I personally think it sucks that people do buy fake dolls and that they do go run the route of buying um, recasts. But for me, my anger is more, I guess, with the people that are making them. It just sucks. Um, it's not like, you know, you're making fake bags and clothes and makeup and things like that would suck. But those businesses are so huge that while, of course, it affects them in some way, it's not the same. Those companies are so large, and they're making so much uh, profit that, um, you know, they're able to stay afloat, they're able to do well um, with those things going on. Now, I personally don't like those fakes either, um, but it's just not on the same level. BJDs are such a niche hobby, and I feel like I'm going to keep saying this over and over, that um, this thing of recreating these fakes really does affect the hobby. And the thing 
that I find very interesting is psychologically, it's very much like politics, right? So people don't love talking about politics necessarily. Um, you don't always share the same political views as other people. Once you find out someone's political view, even if you think, wow, they're an awesome person, I enjoy hanging out with them. Once you find out their political view and it's, God forbid, different than yours, you know, sometimes people can't get past that and you have this block. And I guess that's more serious Politics are a more serious thing, obviously, but that's what recasts kind of feel like in this hobby for us, right? It's sort of like a political thing where it's like, are you pro-recast or are you anti-recast or are you somewhere in the middle? Um, so, yeah, those are my thoughts and feelings. I hope I explained myself well. Again, I hope I didn't offend anyone. That's not my point. To sum up my thoughts and feelings, I just think recasts themselves suck, and I think these people that are creating these fake dolls suck. And I wish it would stop. And I wish people would understand more of how it affects the hobby that we love because I don't want to wake up one day and find out that the companies I love are shut down and closed forever because that would break my heart. That would really, really make me sad. And I want to see the companies I love flourish. I want to see them make more dolls. I want to see them do awesome. I want to see maybe them go mainstream, um, which I think is a different topic, but I would at least like to get them some notoriety, right? But um, I don't want to see that. I don't want to see them go away. So that's the reason I um, can't support the production of recasts, and that's the reason why I'm pro-artist. So I hope that made sense. And again, I hope I didn't hurt anyone's feelings. That's totally not my intent. I just want to share my thoughts and my feelings with you guys, and I hope you share yours down below. Um, no bullying, uh, no character shaming. I don't put up with that. So say what you will, and I'd love to chat with you, but let's be civil and let's be adults and mature people, because I know that we all can do that. So I love all of you, and I hope, again, that made sense. And I'm apologizing again for the rambling and my all over the place chat, but um, I thought it was important that I share my own stance and my own thoughts, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye, everyone.